I just found out that you grew up in Whitman neighborhood yes. in South Philly. Yep. You know, South Philly is now populated by Mexicans and yep. people from other backgrounds, different from the Irish or Italian that um, populate that section of the city in the past. So how do you compare today's South Philly to the South Philly that you live in when you were growing up? Well, first of all, I think that the Mexican and other um, Latino or Latinx, I think is the, is the, newest, is the newest expression, um, Latinx residents of South Philly are no, are no, are no different than the Irish and the Italians. They're the next wave of immigration that this country was established for. People don't really understand why I have the strong, passionate position I have about immigration. Documented or undocumented, does it, I, I, don't, I, I care, but I really don't. It doesn't, doesn't change the human, the human nature, the human status of the individual we're talking about. A piece of paper does not make you a human being. Mm -hmm. And so I go back to my Irish roots, and if people have heard this story before, I apologize, but I want to say it again because I think it's important that we keep on reinforcing this. When the Irish came to America, um, they were forced out of their country due to starvation. A million Irish people starved, and a million Irish people immigrated, more or less. Mm -hmm. It was not um, a famine. It was a hunger. Um, they were tenant farmers working under the, under the thumb of the British uh, and f food was being shipped out of that country. Uh, tons and tons of ships were taking food to Europe and other places for profit. The only subsistence crop the Irish had were the potato, and it re really honestly wasn't even the potato. It was the tuber that the potato was attached to. So they would harvest the potatoes mm -hmm. and give the Irish, the tenant farmers, the tubers to eat. Mm. Well, the potato crop failed on a number of different years. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the worst year was 1847 was Black 47 where the crops in the fields just turned black mm -hmm. and they couldn't even, it was like oil, they couldn't even eat them. Right. So they got on ships, which were called coffin ships, and sailed to North America. In the passage, people died. They were stuffed in the hulls of the ships. And when they finally arrived, those who survived crawled off the ships literally and went to Boston and New York and Philadelphia and mm -hmm. Baltimore and other cities, Savannah and other cities along the East Coast. We were, we were told that we were not welcome, uh, that we should get out, that, our, we, were, that we were dirty, uh, that we were poor, that we didn't speak English because we didn't speak English. Uh, we spoke, we spoke uh, Celtic, Gaelic. Uh, Gaelic. Um, we're told we couldn't live in certain places, that we couldn't apply for work. Uh, that the Irish were a plot by the Pope to take over America, mm -hmm. uh, similar to what people are saying about Muslims today. Um, and uh, we didn't leave. We stayed. And, and, uh, and also, I want to point out the fact that Ellis Island opened in 1892. We came basically in the 1840s, so we were all undocumented immigrants also. Um, yeah. so, so my point is, is that if you are a hyphenated American and you're not you're not a Native American and you're not an African American because there's two different stories there. Mm -hmm. if, you've, if you're a hyphenated American and you look down on or belittle or want to lock up children of refugees, um, you are basically not honoring your own heritage in this country. Uh, and, and that's why I get angry at when people say stupid things about or, or cruel things about immigrants. I mean, when, I look at, when I look at the Latinx immigrants in South Philly, for example, mostly Mexican, mm -hmm. but other, other groups too, it's right. not a monolith. Right. What I see are, state, are nuclear families, mom and dad, kids, work, start a business, um, or work for someone else, work in construction, whatever, you know, whatever it is they're doing. And, and, and when I see um, um, you know, a group of construction workers who appear to be, you know, Mexican, walk by a Catholic church and bless themselves. I mean, there's a, these are the people you want living in your neighborhood. These are, these are the people you want to attract because at some point in time, they're going to do exactly what the Irish and the Italians and the Jewish people did who lived in South Philly. They're going to make a way for their, themselves. They are making a way for themselves. If you look at the Italian market, the composition of the Italian market, it's, not a, it's an international market now. It's not, a, it's not just an Italian market. And the southern end of, the ninth, of ninth Street is basically Mexican for the most part. And I think that's, I'm happy with that. The big, the big problem with Trump and the big problem besides him being ignorant and mean is, <laughs> is that, that what, they're, what he represents are people who are fearful of the changing of the color of the country. That's what, this is what drives the anger. This is what drives the fear. This is what drives the nastiness is they see the country getting browner and darker. So what? It's a natural evolution of okay. things. I'm not, I'm not offended or afraid of it. I think it's terrific. 